Alright, Pachot Tavarish. My name is Kalman. Welcome to that other place. And welcome to Tell Me Why. It's finally June. It's Pride Month. So, happy Pride, everybody. And I decided to go through this game again because it was so amazing last year when I played it. It's from the developer of Life is Strange 1 and 2. And as y'all know, uh, Life is Strange 2 my favorite game ever. So I'm extremely excited to see this beautiful story. And I really hope you guys gonna enjoy it. Um, hello, Reaper Plays Games. What's happening? Good to see you. Um, yes, today we're doing episode number one. Let's quickly check all the settings. Uh, it's all very high and that's good. Audio is on and we do need subtitles. Alright. Everything is fine and everything is ready. And here we are. Jonathan, hello, welcome. Uh, happy Pride, hey yo. <laughs> All right, guys, let's start new game. Here we go. I'm gonna be doing my choices, my own choices, uh, like how I would go through the story. Because last time I played it, I decided to go some other way because um, I really wanted to see this ending when the twins, they are separated. Uh, we'll see how it turns out this time. Mm, tell me why is a story-based game that takes your choices into account to shape your relationships and all the good stuff. This action will have consequences. Yes, don't not entertainment. They just announced six new games. Uh, Delos Crossing, Alaska, March 1st, 2005. Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. She killed my mother. Tell me why. Tell me why you killed your mother. I mean, that's what she just did. Uh, chapter 1, Homecoming. Fireweed Residential Center, November 2nd, 2015. Well, I love all these guitars they putting in their games. Slay Don't Not Entertainment. Clement Gaming, what's up? Oh my gosh, she looks so pretty. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Grab my glasses, I'm on the floor. Hit the city before I leave. Brush my teeth with the bottle of gin. It's when I leave for the night. Ain't coming back. So 
they are meeting after a 10 year separation. It's crazy. Yes, the game is free on Steam for the whole June. So guys, use the opportunity. To-do list. Okay, we have a to-do list. Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. All right, Allison, she's so worried to meet her brother. I mean, I would be worried too. 10 years after, huh? Oh, come on. Why her do I still have this? Every uh, time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Oh. Uh, let's read it. Allison and Bobby, Caribbean Dreams Senior Prom 2012. Alright. Time and I against any two. What is she reading, girl? Look, look, look. I need to bring this with me to Juno. No, first thing first, we need to find the freaking keys for the car. Oh, right. I stashed them. Right here, huh? <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. Yes, goblins. This feels like another lifetime. Yeah, Jonathan, right. they are living in Alaska. Um, examine this. What's that? Handyman. Alright, handywoman. Uh, let's go. I think she said she is ready. I've been practiced since high school. Mars. I'm probably super rusty. Now serve for the stars. Look at this artwork all day. Alright, slay. Uh, let's leave. Now here we go, Tyler. Ugh, Ellie. She's gonna be so awkward. Dear Tyler, I know you're... Th can you read it, please? Oh, here we go, guys. Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking, Alada. Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey, bro, just wanted to give my twin a sh uh, shout before reuniting after 10 years of swank. Uh, Juvie's more like letter territory. Whatever. Uh, you'll thank me when we're 90 uh, and the uh, machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candlelight. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyways, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing! I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet they're going to miss you. Um, I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up, and you can save the shark when you see my ride. Uh, she's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyway, uh, the veggies let me take the day off, so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made it that clear. Love you, Allison. All right, sister, we are ready to see you. Uh, let's pack our stuff and go. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. That's a beautiful view, huh? Man, Look at this. That view. Right? That's what I said, babe. Songs of Innocence. 
the transgender man's guide to health masculinity and shelter from the fluid interesting cool books what can i say let's take hey, the goblin guy. Ooh, you're gonna be hi. reunited with your sister soon all right a little plant can i take it with me oh, cool i guess i'm totally ready to go now you found the first game collectible okay bye herbert no plant is not coming with me celebrate educate unite trans visibility march of juno all right, I heard about Juno uh, recently. I don't know where and why, but that's so cool. Oh yeah, that's the letter. Let's leave. Let's see. Please give me water and sun. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh, 10 years. Wait. Why would you do that, girl? That's a cute teddy bear. Hi, sis. What's up? Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh. Sorry, I. It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. Misty, you're kind of rude. What do you mean, first time you we see each other have anything and else it's you just need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Um, the food, the people. The food? I don't know. No, let's say the people, because I love my guy who designed this jacket. It's pretty cool. Honestly, the people, the other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron, it took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe, safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. Are we planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? Oh. You are welcome to walk. <laughs> nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. He is funny. All right. Guys, I think she threw away the teddy bear because she thought it would be too... Um, too sweet. Like, he's a big guy. Why would you give him a teddy bear? Maybe that's why. Maybe aliens. Alaska is one of the big alien abduction capitals of the U.S. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. <laughs> poor baby. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps. 
Even hey, bringing back hibernation fancy. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. Ooh. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. All right, so what's happening? How are you feeling? Cute. Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. This is his first time. It's going to be his first time after his transitioning um, when he's back to his hometown. What so obviously you? it's going to be crazy. Allison? Girl, what's oh. up? Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Okay, girl. Why What's did we that? take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't Yo. think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look. I put a fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. This place I'm looks so beautiful. I'm guessing things so have much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Um, left shift to hold replot. Small town life, that bad. Uh, can't wait to get out of here. Uh, well... Small town life is not bad, to be honest. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo, and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and... Helping his clan organize a potlatch. All Is that right. Smoke coming out of Stonehouse. Uh, look, look, Stonehouse. Which one is Stonehouse? This one is Stonehouse. Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out, at least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh, that house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. I like him wearing his glasses, it's so cool. Pablo, what's happening? Welcome. Uh, the game is called Tell Me so, Why. We're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? For sure, what's... <laughs> Again? I don't know. You've been asking a lot of questions. What? I... Sorry. I guess I was a little overexcited. I'm just messing with you. Ask away. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? 
Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Cute, cute sister. All right. Um, let's see how long this trip takes, because I'm ready to go. I'm ready to see our old house. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? Oh, she proposing? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me... He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Well, uh, fine, I can't accept this and I don't care. Uh, obviously, we just met, I don't want to mess it up, so I'm gonna say fine, because... Why not? I missed I know it. This is weird. But Uncle Eddie's my family. Say hi, say fine. He put up with me at my absolute worst and has always been consistent and kind. Please take it. Okay, fine. I'm going to say fine. Uh, I don't want to be rude. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really? Just so we're clear, this was for you. She's excited. Not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Daddy, Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. All right. So what's happening? Enough is enough of talking. We should go. <laughs> I love his haircut. Whales, huh? Whoa! There's no place like home. Yeah. Would it That's ruin the moment so if cute. I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Allison is so cute being so nervous. Chill, girl. I'm your brother. So I don't care. Uh, what is this? Beer is my sport. Check my, check my six pack. Oh my god. No. What is this fishing stuff? Hmm. Shotgun, Impressive, baby. Oh, uh, if you say so, you're going hunting? You blend an Atlanta moose with that? Good eye. Wanna draw on a bull tag up this way. You got your license and tag on you? <laughs> Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. You hunt? Um, I prefer fishing. Never tried it. I never tried hunting, so I don't know. And I kind of don't like fishing. Never had the chance. No. Too bad. Ain't nothing like laying down the hammer on a big damn animal to make you feel alive. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Well, born and bred, just visiting. I'm gonna say that I'm from here, because, yes, this is my home. Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaska natives then. Clay kid, I'd, uh, haven't been home in five years. 
My sister wants to move uh, you visiting family. Well, yeah, we're kind of moving away from this place. We're just selling the house. Ah, my sister's planning to move to Juno. Good for her. Most folks I know never tried living anywhere else. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Tyler Ronan. I didn't. I'm Tyler. Tyler Ronan. I, uh... Ronan, huh? Ronan as in the Ronans? Uh-huh. So, uh, you're... Knew those girls had a brother. We didn't. Uh, I. Uh, nice talk. Yeah. Enjoy your time in town, Tyler. That was so awkward. Oh my god. All right, he said. I never knew those girls had a brother. Jesus. She finished talking. Let's talk to Ta Taylor. <laughs> Allison. I don't know why I wanted to say Taylor. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. What's up? Let's go already. Cannery still going strong, huh? Not sure what people would do around here if it weren't. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. Be who you are, bestie. That's what I can say. Uh, Jackie Oda. Not gonna lie, this scene reminds me did of the other game I did. the company We're made. We're tonight to watch the game, drink beer, and complain about our wives. <sighs> Sounds like an enchanting evening. What yeah, game no. it reminds me yeah. of? Spook to the name. I don't running. remember oh. ship scenes anywhere. Uh, okay, so let's leave. Uh, why we're here? I don't understand. Let's go. Allison. Slay! Be who see the you harbor. are. We're almost there. Hell yeah. I don't see the harbor. Come on. <laughs> What's happening? Or we just have to wait. Ecology matters. It's so beautiful though. Kinda feels cold, but I don't mind cold. Much better than when it's super hot, like here in Los Angeles. Oh my god. Here we go, let's leave. Finally we can do this. We're in town, everybody! Alaska. Oof, exotic. At least to me. Like, I wouldn't mind living in this place. Surrounded by the nature. Beautiful. Mother Nature's dying. Nobody's keeping score. I don't want to live in a man's world anymore. They really look like a brother and a sister. That's cool. Why is she so sad though? I can feel it. Fresh air, cold, beautiful. Ah. Oh. I wouldn't sell this house. It's 
basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. <laughs> you think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Mama. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. All right. Uh, Jackie, the game Life is Strange True Colors. Actually, True After Colors uh, was made by other studio, not by uh, Don't Nod. What is this? It's our old playground, hey, huh? You remember that? Come on, Tyler. It's freezing out here. I'm sorry, I'm You're coming, right. girl. Sorry. Let's head inside. Let's go, let's go. The house reminds me of um Chris's house from Adventures of Captain Spirit. It's so good. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remember this. You sure that's Still the right key? Locked. Yes. Fail, bestie, fail. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one All of All right. A little investigation never killed nobody, so let's slay. Here we go on our way to explore. The goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Can I run? Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, what was she doing out here that night? Come on. Well, at least the tools are still here. That'll help. She did not like us using her tools. Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Okay, so... Add it to the shopping list. Apparently, nobody lived in this house for the whole time, like 10 years. Hey, it's locked, all right. It's the very first time they're here. Interesting. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah. We should hide them, so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Are these frogs? Cute, what can I say? Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. You if you lay down line next to me! No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So, we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. I think we saw something in the barn, huh? I think I saw one back in the shed. That's what, That's what I that. said. How do we open it, though? It's locked. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Hey. <laughs> yes. Let's... Hey, it's locked, all right. So what do we do then? How do I open it? How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Wait, Uncle Allison. Eddie got me one, but I hardly ever used it. Allison, we need the tools. I think I saw something in the window, but how do we enter? Let's see. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. Yeah, here you go, hey, screwdriver. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um, I'm feeling something strange. Life is strange, that's what I'm feeling. Space, uh, hold to focus on your bond. And don't leave this 
this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. That's this a crazy ability, huh? To see your memories like this in real life. Yo, I honestly, I don't I'm remember what so happened to me when I was five. Near the barn. Yeah. Sometimes I don't too. even remember what happened to me when I was 18. It's crazy. It was like whole other world. A uh, whole to focus on your bond. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No. I want to see. Tyler was always I so we rude. We, we just have to remember which one is the silent frog. I mean, silent frog, obviously, it's the one that so, keeps... Which one of you is hiding the, the mouse key? shut? Hmm? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. Yes, we got it. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. So, we can enter the shed and get the screwdriver. Let's see what else there. Maybe... Some other cool stuff? Oh, it looks pretty. Wait, it's been like 10 years, but it looks pretty nice and clean. How? Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? What is this? Parrot huh. food? Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Wait, should we feed some parrot? But I don't see any parrots here. It's kind of cold for them parrots to fly around. All right, here you go, my man. Breaking into our own house, huh? You sure you want to go in there? Sure, why not? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? No spiders, please. I freaking hate spiders. I'm praying. All right. Are you okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. Alright. I'm going in for real this time. He's a little trickster. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. She was like, oh! <laughs> She's funny. Alright, let's see. Let's explore. Uh, crouch. Maybe I want to crouch here, no? I cannot do this. Oh yeah, we only have one way to go, so let's make it happen. His jacket is so cool. Ouch! Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, 
Don't suppose you remember heading dragons? Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. What if I go right? You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. It's a uh, collectible though. I don't mind taking it, the Mad Hunter. Dallas Cross uh, Olympic event. I would have taken gold. Not even in your dreams. All right, Olympic champion. Uh, apparently, they can read each other's thoughts or just communicate like this. Then left again after the goblins. What if I want to go right? Nope. It was on the right. Wait, wait, wait. Bad. Okay, but <laughs> then what's on the left? I don't want to miss any collectibles. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. What is this? Why he's looking at his ass? He was like, okay, whatever. I don't like your ass. Stay dead. Uh, goblins, treasure, something. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. Welcome to the tea party! Wait, that was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Pink. It always had to be pink. I love pink. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. Wonder spell? Thunder spell. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped though. Rest in peace, brave bird. It's beautiful. This this is like kind of my favorite color. It's purplish. All right. Let's explore. Uh, beware the mad hunter. mad hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Marianne's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Creepiness in my tea. How do I go there, huh? Hey, Tyler. Here we go. Ooh, we're inside the house. Hell yeah. Oh, dusty. I still don't understand why I took this parrot food. What for? Breakfast? It's so cute though. And big. I wouldn't say it's been 10 years. How can a house stay like this, abandoned, for 10 years? Like nowadays, they would take it right away. The government or whoever. Tyler, are you in there? Okay, okay. <laughs> Coming. It was like, stay outside. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Nice shoes. She is slain here. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? First, we figure out what to keep, what to trash, oh. and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Okay, so we're here to sell the house. That's it. Uh, what? Machine repair. All right. It doesn't seem real. What doesn't seem real? Show me. It's not working, obviously. Nobody paying. No lights, no power. 
Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. Hmm. Not a total disaster, Ronan. Handsome, my man. Handsome. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. <laughs> what are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Family jewels, welcome. Um, open. Maybe there's something. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Uh, not when we broke them. I love fixing things. I wish she fixed herself. Ooh, that's rude. Yeah, well, she could have tried a little harder to fix her own head. Can you picture Marianne talking to a shrink? No. And speaking of... Therapy's expensive, and I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Therapy is expensive, alright. That's true, though. So, ooh, there's a memory! Where? Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short. Really short. What? Look, I'm tired! And I'm busy! Let's talk about this later. You always say that. All right, Mama. Marianne said no to everything. Made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True, but it felt personal with me. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. Um, left shift. I'm pressing left shift, but I cannot do anything. Why? Oh, quiet times. We used our voice. I don't know. That was the one time we were ever quiet. We knew she needed to sleep. We all needed her to sleep. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Mini Da Vinci's, we were not. She saved every drawing. Mini Da Vinci's. There's a couple of these I might keep. Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. We already I'm so checked. so embarrassed it. for us. Mini Da Vinci's, we were not. My man, she we already saved every checked drawing. it. We have... She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. Oh, uh, it made her smile. Kind of annoying. Want to keep some of these? It made her smile. It made her happy. And it was kind of nice to see her smile. I guess. You okay? All these happy pictures. They look so sad now. So staged. I know. Well. How you feeling about being back? <sighs> I thought I knew what to expect, but... Everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. How about you? You okay? Uh, too much to process. Not sure how I feel. Easier than I thought. I mean, I'm still not sure. I'm honestly not sure how I feel yet. I'm just trying to think of it as an empty house. Yeah. An empty house full of actual ghosts. Hopefully they're friendly ghosts. Come on, the house looks cool to be honest. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. Uh, we were in a way cool when she came over, do you think so? I mean, we were gifted. <laughs> we were, just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. Alright, there's a letter they've sent to Mama. Hey Mom, uh, we are sorry the vase got broke. Uh, we didn't know you love it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. 
next time we will try and use good judgment. Uh, please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too, we should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Oli not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. They were so nice. It's both Tyler and what Allison. What are you reading? Um, our apology letter. A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. Okay. Uh, let's go upstairs. We gotta check what's up in the upper floor. There should be like our room and stuff. No, the house is definitely cute. I would live here. Sup, Allison? I'm here. Hey, sis. You see me? Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying Chilling. to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? Ah, uh, plotting world <laughs> domination. Ah, uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be oh, up in a second. Go. Oh, dear diary. I met a boy. He made my dull heart light up with joy. Ooh, that's so cute. This little tent. Look at... Th oh my gosh. I miss old times. I want to be a kid again. Forever. That's the no, old this, room. This feels like home. It's pretty. That's the second toy. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better day. It's Allison's. Oh, this one wasn't mine. We never appreciated this view as kids. Look, it's the game we made. Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Oh, really? Hello, Allison and Ollie. We are writing from the past. What is it like in the future? Anyway, Juno is super cool. We took the tramway all the way up. Ollie was scared. Liar! We got some books, but mommy went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. It was cool. Uh, there were a lot of whales on the ferry. Uh, no, there wasn't. Uh, they were in the water, stupid. Anyway... Here is a postcard to remind you how awesome we are. Especially me, Allison, and Ollie. They are cute. But I see it. What she says that they were super lonely. They didn't have any friends except of each other. The City of Love. What how is did this? you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie. Back then. Is this a real movie? Do you guys know? I've never heard of it. Oh, wait, what is this? Ooh, it's a diary. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? Press tab to open all these Book stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ooh, so Mama, she was an artist, a writer, and also it looks like she was a painter. Oh my gosh, she's so artistic. Look at all the illustrations, it's so beautiful. Like, oh my god. That's a nice book to create for your kids. I don't know why they keep saying that she was uh, extra mad. Where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Ooh, a memory. Mom? Mom!
Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? <sighs> what now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. Poor Tyler, huh? I think it's extremely crazy to see all these memories. I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. So what I'm saying, that this power to see all... Uh, you think her room is still locked? ...their memories. Well, I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. It's not really cool because then you you are like reliving all the events that you're seeing and like it's crazy. It can drive you legit crazy because he took it so personal when he was a kid. Everything that mama did. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! Alright, that's so cute. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Like Lord Voldemort? Jimmy, hi, welcome! How are you today? Um, that's just some book. Wait, right, let's go downstairs. We have to find Mama's room and enter. And see what is happening there. Are there any more memories to remember? Remember, remember the 5th of November. Alright, there's nothing here. We can go straight to mom's room. Here it is. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. A lock. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, <laughs> if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. Wait. There are so many stories. I don't want to read everything. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. Oh. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. What's the story, though? Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. All right, Princess Party. Maybe First we should like. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. 
What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Princess's guess. I mean, okay, let's see the book. Uh, so we have bear, frog, uh, uh, deer, and this goose, whatever. Let's check. Uh, princess and the two thieves. No. Bear and the princess, beaver. The princess's party. Here we go. Uh, once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy because it was the one year anniversary of when she had run away from home. Sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed up at her door. They were headed by the pelican, uh, pious and attentive and organized by the moose. Stalwart and farsighted. Uh, the old bear was there with his claw so sharp as well as the big frog of prattling away. Even the n hawked a bitch. Here we go. Uh, even, where is it? Even the haughty muskrat, who mostly came out at night, had come. The beaver invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would harry uh, her path. And the animals led her to a fairy glen where a fabulous party had been prepared. Uh, maybe... Wait. It's like a lot to read. Jesus Christ. Uh, only the musk Muskrat had uh, done nothing in particular, mooching off everyone else's hard work. So, uh, let's see. They were headed by a far-sighted the old beaver bear was there. Pelican, moose, bear, and muskrat. Uh, let's try to do this. But we only have three. First one is pelican. Then it's bear. And that's it. I think this is not the right combination. I think this is not the right combination. Alright. Uh, the princess had a very good time at her party. Such a good time that she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Uh, noticing this, uh, the fairies devised a bit of mischief. When the princess went to open her gifts, she found three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and gasped. The entire pa party had vanished. Because you have taken your friends for granted, called the uh, naughty fairies. Uh, we have hidden them from you, but we like games. Guess who has given you each of these presents, and you'll get uh, your friends back. Okay, so we have torch, a sword, and a bag of gold. Let's see. The princess opened the first box. Inside there was a torch, uh, which when lit revealed the truth. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark. And that I always see right from wrong. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? Someone smart, I think? Uh, let's see the description. Pelican, attentive, moose... Farsighted. Moose. First thing is moose. Uh, second box. A magic sword. Mm. Someone wants to make sure I'm protected if I'm uh, ever under threat. Which of my friends give me a gift like this? Who protects her? I think bear. So moose, bear. And the third box, inside, a bag of coins. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I'm hungry. I think it's Goose. It's 100% Goose. Organized. Attentive. Pelican. I mean, let's see. So, first guy is the Moose, then the Bear, and probably the Pelican. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Hey! Kalman the Explorer! Here we go, guys! Solve the mystery, this is mom's rule. And boom, we're in. How the light is on? They said there's no electricity. After 
so many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. I mean, I do feel Speak it like yourself. a win. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Hey! <laughs> Why do I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that? Because I freaking solved the mystery. Where do you think we should start looking? Oh, now it's bright. I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Well, let's see. We're looking for my diary, huh? There's a memory, there's a memory. Wait, but is there anything I can take? A pill. Oh, this explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. What kind of medication, though? She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? <laughs> they be pissed. It's here. No, no, no. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I want to see the memory first. Because I think there's going to be another shortcut. A sh uh, cut scene. If I take the memory. So, let's check it out. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. to tell me everything but they shut me out Tessa they've shut me out I've had so much on my plate lately and and they're convinced I'm the enemy and I don't know why I need them I need my goblins I remember now we heard her crying we listen through the door. Seeing her like this. As if she's still here. It's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? That's what I'm saying, guys. Relieving all these memories, it's insane. It brings you so hmm. much pain. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't <laughs> the author go see. insane or something? No wonder Miriam liked it. Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. It's beautiful. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. Oh my gosh. Mama is a freaking painter. She's the artist. Is she and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. Mm-hmm. All right, gay community. Uh, All this cool. place needs is a quick clean, and it'll be ready to go. So, here's the diary. Let's read it. Oh, dear diary, I, I met it. a boy. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Youth camp. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad at I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? 
I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. The music is so beautiful. I, I have I freaking goosebumps. Air. It's crazy. So mom had this book which shows us that she actually wanted to raise her transgender child and that's why Tyler is mad because what they thought that she was against that. But let's see what's going to happen next. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Oh. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Uh, this is me and my bestie. I mean, my bestie is giving me a haircut. <laughs> Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. It looks cute. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm um, pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> the best haircut, bestie. <laughs> Mom? Mom? Ooh, that's creepy. In the night, huh? And it's raining outside. Rain on me. Rain, rain. Is he gonna go outside in this weather? Really? Oh my gosh, Tyler! She was crying. I have small <laughs> pee pee. I love this game. It was really good. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. I'm enjoying it. It's beautiful. It's so good. Look at this view. Oh my god. Look at this jacket. Oh my god. Look at Tyler. And Alice. Glad we too. found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. About the 
book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Maybe Tessa has answers. Uh, must be nice to forget. I think Tyler wants to investigate to find real answers, and I think he's right. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. Ooh. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. Uh, why rush the house sale? Is something wrong? Yeah, like, why are you so mad, girl? Chill. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Uh, the book changed everything. It's important to me. I think I'm gonna go with that thought that the book changed everything. Mother had this book saying, uh, raising your transgender child. We gotta figure out the truth. And then we found the book and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. Wasn't ready to come back, couldn't find the time. Um... Obviously it's hard for him, so he just wasn't ready. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Stop making it about you. I was hiding from everyone. Um, I think... He was hiding from everyone, right? Don't want to be rude. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And... Oh, God. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place, and the smells... Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. <laughs> Look, I <laughs> needed some funny. time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, why rush the house sale, then? So... I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. Well... 
It would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. Girl, we're not selling the house. Look, we even have this additional fishing house. Gee, why would you sell it? It's so cool. I want to live this quiet life. It's pretty. Uh, why rush the sa I already asked that. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. She's the boss, All right. huh? Deal. Allison is kind of bossy today. Ollie's diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. All right. Was I the only diary. one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> She's cute. Okay, so mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one mom is screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team. Like, it's wrong for me to play a boy's sport. I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? All right. Next page. I never had a diary. I think it's cool. Uh, saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great. But mom found out we watched it and got so mad. She said it glory it war. Zium Zium. What Zium Zium? I don't know. Saturday 5th, February 2005. Wouldn't mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that it was my fault mom got angry at us. She is such a suck up. Mom's barely said anything to us in a few days. Alice said she saw her throwing away pages from the Book of Goblins. Uh, 1st of March 2005. Do this, do that. I am sick of her voice. And I'm sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. Okay. Uh, leave. That's it. What's poppin'? Let's talk. I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? Just finding it hard to relax and enjoy it with so yeah, much Yeah, I wanna ex mind. investigate. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh-huh. My sister. The social butterfly. <laughs> social butterfly. Who's she chatting to? Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. What are you... Brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you look like a real man. I am a real so man, you, bitch. Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. I am a man. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Guess I'm the asshole again. <laughs> you gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just it takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. So, what are you doing here exactly? Whoa, that's oh, a welcome. Well, yeah. I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Marianne with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh... Our keys. Selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. I mean, that's kind of what I'm saying. This house is cool. Uh, no one asked you a few bad memories. Okay, I don't want to be rude to Sam. He kind of looks okay. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Uh, this place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? Uh, ooh, how to speak using your voice. He's hammered. Ellie, can you hear me? Ty, so cool. we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um... Everything okay with you two? Yes. <laughs> no. Oh. All right. Um, should we talk again? No, we already uh, talked about that. Uh, were you too close? The puzzle on her door. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. That's Mama's portrait right there. Oh, uh, were you too close? The puzzle on her door. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah you two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy. Huh? Hey, little goblins. You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Tyler, the explorer. I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh, so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. Um, well, it looks like we ran out of the conversations we could use. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Yeah, uh, he's too wasted to help us. Yeah, he's too wasted, that's it. He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, 
We've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, <laughs> yeah, of course. He was like, I'm but staying, I, I don't to do care. Myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? I think he loved her. Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm. This place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. So that's why the house looks pretty cool and nice and fresh. Uh, not like it's been 10 years since uh, the last person stepped in. Because Sam, he was taking care of the whole thing. He changed the logs and cleaned a little. All right, where are we going? I think she said we're going to the store and we're gonna meet some new characters like M -M 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 Michael and you know Michael Oh, church Don't want your money, just want your sex Think about my bad girl meat. Show me your teeth. Hi, Michael. What's up? I love his hair. Long hair? I don't care. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? Always. I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Oh, he's not in the mood. He Just is not in the to mood keep in today. Mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? All right, Michael, what's poppin', my man? Uh, I'm just trying to see any collectibles around here, but it doesn't look like we have anything here. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Hey. Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. Ooh, <laughs> So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. I cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> Tyler is doing what? What's that? Uh, maybe gonna be roommates. He wants to move too. I mean, yeah. Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey. 
I only snore during allergy season and baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Oh my gosh, find yourself a man who looks at you like Tyler looks at Michael. It's so funny. Wait. But I want to explore the area, there's some memory. Nathaniel, hey, how do you like the game so far? It's amazing. I love oh, this game, it's here. so beautiful. Alright, Vecchi. Snowman. That's cool, but there was a memory. Oh, here it is, here it is, guys. Look. It's a dome. You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. Is Tyler watching? Tyler is not watching our memory. You didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Alright. Should we go inside or stand around until we become human popsicles? Girl, I'm looking for the memories. Chill already. Cannot wait to go inside, huh? Where's the memory, though? It looks like it's somewhere nearby, but I kind of cannot find it. Wait, here, look. Oh, here it is, finally. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Look, the mom, she was always so Man, cute. I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. That's the store. Alright, okay, let's enter, it's time. Um, Nathaniel, if they well, don't get together, I will cry let's myself to sleep. We'll see, we'll see, no worries. I mean, I'm pretty sure they love each other already. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. Oh. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we're here for some supplies for the okay. house. Let's so make it happen. candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. Um, candles you and all-purpose cleaner. Look, all the good fishing um, Wait, I forgot my phone. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? 
old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Is this the cleaner? Yes, it is. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. No Surface. Okay. The trout king is still here. Okay, whatever. I'll take mm, organic. Organic's one. better. Right? Always take organic. So, uh, what kind of lure would you use for a steel? Oh, I here well, they are. It's hard to beat little Cleo. He asked for some snacks, condition. so let's buy Wait, something for him is this to a pop eat. Quiz? <laughs> I want to be I a nice sure. sis. What? Chocolate like or chips? Hey, Tyler. Candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Candies Man, then. They really Sugar rush it is. Game. They didn't used to have a license plate wall, right? Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Just browsing these fancy ass candles. Well, let's take the blue one. I kind of mm. like blue color. Plain candles are fine. Yeah. Holy candle. Scented some stuff. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Let's take it, no? Whatever. We should invite Michael to hang out with us in the new house, in the old house. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish oh. any of it sounded good. Let's take just water then. Uh, cause I'm soda grabbing some sucks. water. You do you, girl. No calories okay. for us. I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Okay. Okay, let's make it happen. But there are no memories, right? No memories available. I just really don't want to miss anything because it's kind of cool to see all the stuff. What is this? Guns? Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks Allison, before each and every waiting. sale. Let's pay for the groceries. Mm. Of course. Okay, I'm paying. Tyler can't wait to go home. Uh, let's talk. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oppa, Tessa, oh, hi, what's Tessa. up? We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. What happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. This is me. What? That's all we can know. I need to go now. <laughs> Bitch, who's plan? Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? It is. Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Wait, are we exploring stuff? Okay, I think we're looking for some new memories. Here we go, here we go. Wait, what is this? 
a fish. Here it is. Remember. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. So she owns something. I completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? How can you have a different version of what happened? Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Oh, I have to pick. That's insane. Michael, welcome. How are you? Um, let's see. Where's the... Choose Allison's memory. I want to talk to you now. Tessa or was angry. Or choose Tyler's memory. Mary Please, Ann was let's angry. let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? You hearing this? Marianne was looking for a fight. Which one? I need to start calling in your debts. No, Tessa Which is was. It going to be? She went on Jack Thompson. I want to talk. I want to talk. I think you. Tessa was angry. I would say that Tessa was angry because so far, all the memories that were seen of the mama, uh, she's always nice and I sweet. I want to talk to you. So now. let's choose Alice. Do I need to start memory. calling in your Tessa debts? was angry. I want to talk to you now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you, my God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kid. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? Oh, the memory stopped. Also, this sign, it's like we're getting separated. I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. All right, let's ask her. Interrogation of Tessa. Michael says, I love this game so much. It is, it is really great. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's just amazing. I love it. I love all the Don't Not games. They always creating such a beautiful stories. Uh, week two, what's up with the locker? Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. Oh, I'm just collectible. looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing here? Yes, Pelican. What is this? Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. 
Can we? Man, okay, Tessa we cannot read it though. Ah, uh, Tessa is a horrible person. Well, we're gonna so figure out because we have different versions. Allison and Tyler, they both have different versions of what happened. And I don't know who to trust. Let's talk to her. Is there something I can do for you? Well, your fight with Marianne. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death. Tyler's you... like, we argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. <sighs> I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. Wait, that's it? I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> But duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hey, let's make it happen. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Slay Tyler, the investigator. Um, let's talk to him. We should go talk to Tom, right? Okay. See if he remembers the song. What's up, Tom? Play it. Hey, Tom. Spin There's the record, I can help you with? baby. How's business? How's the campaign? Uh, campaign going? Remember that one song. This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. Uh, yes, a little play it. worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on... Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. <laughs> Why? A bit cheesy for my tastes. I love cheesy stuff. Let's listen to it. He was like, enjoy, bitch. This is it, right? That's a cool song. I think so. <laughs> Sunkiss Diamond, welcome. How Whoa. are you? I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Amber Heard just lost the trial. Bye, Amber. Okay, uh, let's see. I think we have new memories. Here we are. Rat in a hat. Welcome. Mom, Mama is chilling. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. The bitch is sassy. How carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? There's I another one. Right oh, here. The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay, whatever you want. I'm a hey, girl. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close, like I promised. Oh, yeah, so Mama owns something. I think you mean Tessa was self righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. Pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet earlier. There's another one, though. What are you doing here? 
Uh, I thought you needed help with the storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Mary Ann. I said I'm fine! Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What kind of confusion is she talking about? Tessa gave to Mary Ann. I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Tessa gave her this thing. I don't know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Tessa got the conversion therapy ad to Mama, Shouldn't so we she try didn't to find like it. About the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne. Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business. Let's uh, see. Uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Okay, how do I do that? The elephant in the room. Mm, I don't think that's the email we have to find. Uh, hey Tessie, just got back uh, from my workation and found the girl in bed sleeping like happy logs. Is this the email that we need? We need from some organization. Your order has been shipped. Thanks for uh, shopping with Don't us. You seekers youth camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Alliance of Traditional Families. Ten powerful Christian quotes that will change your life. A parent's guide to prevent same-sex attraction. What the hell? Here's a newsletter from the Alliance for Traditional Families. Wow. Yikes. So Tessa was against the thing. Can I help you, thing. Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? That's some kind of an investigation, huh? Uh, Elijah. No, we don't need Elijah. A uh, sun uh, kiss diamond. Uh, the best months ever had nine endings. Will you ever try uh, those one day? Uh, so actually, uh, there's no uh, difference in all these endings. Uh, it's only the picture, like the profession that he picks of uh, Arai. So it's only one line in the whole game that is changing with these endings so there is no reason it's like doctor altruist a sniper whoever else uh no much difference mariah that's not what we need marianne no show it looks like marianne started flaking on her debt in october 2004. five months before that night i think we've seen enough yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Wait, wait, wait. But how do I know the date? Oh, let me let me just take a picture, cause I'm pretty sure we would need to give her a right answer. Let's see. Also, I'm gonna take a picture of the letter that we read on the email on the computer. So we are prepared. Here's Kill a newsletter it. from the Alliance for Traditional Families. Wow. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's, Let's talk, talk to, to the Tessa. bitch. Let's talk to the bitch. What's up? You wanna go? Is there something I can do for you? Um, we remember details. We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts? I never. Like I'm some kind of loan shark. Yes, you are. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. <laughs> I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. It's 2004. October 2004. <gasps> 
<gasps> Wait, October uh, for washing machine, no show. When it uh, groceries paid off, uh, April 2004 paid off. Okay, it's October, guys. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. There's something else. You were mad about, uh, she bailed on you. You told her about the camp. You said she was failing us. You told her about the camp. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? Uh... Camp... Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Right? Yes. The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I... T Look, you've clearly decided I'm Judas. Just You're like Mary fucking did. Judas. But I was trying to help. Tyler, she told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. You told her to send her child to conversion therapy. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. Now. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to. Let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Oh my god. So now Tyler knows that the thing that he killed his mother. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. Their mother actually loved What are you thinking? Him. Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. And Marianne, she had my back. It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey. Look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. Oh no, besties. We're not smoking here. What? Sorry, I'm just... thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. That means that your mama was a good person. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Wow, I've never seen this uh, scene before. Uh, I never had a chance to make Tessa talk. Achievement unlocked, full confession. Whoa, you see, I never had this thing before. That's crazy. And now we're gonna talk to her stepdad, Allison's stepdad. Who... Who decided to prevent this them is from bleak. seeing each other for seven years. It's usually years. more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? 
Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. All right, Uncle, Uncle Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Should we explore first? Oh, it's nighttime. There's Damn. nothing here. They still got this creepy mask on, huh? It's a local hero. Uh, this thing scares the kids. Yeah, I keep telling Eddie to get rid of it. He terrifies all the kids what? that come through here. It's cute. It's not scary. Really? I am the law. All right. There's nothing here. I don't want to go to restroom. Why it's European home, flag here? Hmm. You spend a lot of time here growing up. Yeah, whenever Eddie was working, the whole precinct's basically family. Memo. Some people. It's freezing in here. Oh, Gregs. Just leaving this out on display again. Should we buy? Ooh, ooh, there's a memory. There's a memory, guys. The one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local sword. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Why? Claire Brown went missing. Well, where do you suggest they go? Yeah. I Social he services will be happened. here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. It's the night. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Something's blocking the way. <sighs> Something's in the way. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Write what? I don't know what I'm supposed to write. Leave a note, draw a dog. Leave a note. Hopefully this doesn't weird her out. I don't know what exactly I'm doing, but that's what's up. What did she write? Hi Denise, thanks for helping uh replace my tires. Alright, thank you, Denise. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Do you want to add happy birthday? No, it's too late. Okay, whatever. Let's open it. Hey, that's sneaky. There's a key. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Well, do you want to take huh. it? Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Why won't you take a uh, locker key if it's there? I want to explore. What is she hiding? Anyways. Huh. Why do they look so familiar? Oh my, it's also closed. Okay, let's just go upstairs because mm. uh, there's no Eddie other way. Eddie must have locked it already. We can do anything else. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Tyler, you coming? Tyler, Tyler doesn't have a problem lying to himself. Cause his liquor stop shelf. What's up, knock knock? Chief Edward Brown. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Ooh. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Excuse Give me, me a few she... minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. I'll give you more than... Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? ...few minutes. Why he never said hi to me, bitch? Coffee sound good? Mm. The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Armory. <laughs> Tyler wants to get some gun. Get a gun, get a gun, get a gun. Anyways... Chief Brown looks handsome. Also young. Gee, can he be my daddy tonight? You can be you my know, daddy tonight. I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. There's another memory somewhere around. Wait, where is it? 
Ooh, I have keys from everything now. Ooh, Hell yeah. Rose never lets me back here. Wait, where's the memory? Wait, examine. Okay, let's huh. examine. Rose left the computer on. Subject, new administrative software. Please reset your password. With the introduction of new administrator, please note that the reception desk a computer can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Okay. We don't have a password, though. But, why do I see a memory? I cannot find it. Ooh, it's outside. Okay. Where are we going? To jail, bitch. We're just gonna sit down in here. I'm gonna ask Killed you your mama. Okay. Okay. Gotta pay. Look at Tyler. He just got his new haircut and now he's in jail. You okay? What the heck? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I wouldn't too. All right. You can write a story like this. I got my new haircut. That's okay, how it went. Let's go in. Locker room. Ooh, ooh, locker room. We need the key. Oh, oh, oh! It's closed. Yep. Wait. It's locked. There's a phone. Hey, that coffee is sounding real good. Where's the break room? Babe, in a second. I want to get the key because there must be something interesting in that lady's locker room. Uh, one of the best cops in town. Hey, she's Delos Crossing's best cop. Other than Eddie, of course. My bad. She won't notice if we borrow this, right? Sneaky. We're being sneaky. Put back no. Later. I know I've got a big ego. I really don't know. Oh, such a big deal, though. Alright, let's open it. Let's see what's inside. Maybe she has some dirty secret. Alright, cop. Everybody knows that I'm a good boy, officer. We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but you never know where we might find information about that night. I guess what? Balto came through. Balto? Oh, I remember Balto. Do you guys remember Balto? It's some dog that rescued people, right? It's a cartoon or a movie. I don't even so remember. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. Okay, so the password is winner on my 20th birthday. 20th birthday. How old is she now? Oh, we gotta learn how old is she. 20th birthday. Okay, let's do some calculations. I think we saw a postcard, uh, I mean birthday card um, on her desk. So let's check it out. And then we'll be able to access the PC. Some kind of good investigating skills right here. Here's the birthday card. Put the key back. Check the card. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. It's alright. She happens. What can I say? Um, happy... Happy 29th birthday, Denise. Keep up the good work, Eddie. Another year to prove the old... Okay, whatever. So, right now it's 29, and this is 2015, right? Uh, nine years before, it was 2006. No, yes, 2006. Uh, so, who was the winner uh, in 2006? Let's see, examine. I should take her out for a birthday drink. 2006, it was Jeff King Salem. Let's try it. Uh, apparently this is her password, Jeff King Salem. Salem, it's like the dark pictures, we just recently played it. Little Hope. Okay, let's try it. Jeff, Jeff, no. 
Salem. Damn it. King. Oh, Jackson, Greg's. Wilson? Was she Wilson? Wait. Salem. Bingo. Who's the fucking Anything investigator? Juicy? That me! Just... Sam Kansky. Oh, Sam. What about him? Uh, hey. He got arrested for public intoxication last week, and that was not his first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. Alright, so, hey D, just a heads up, since you are picking up the relief shift tomorrow morning, Sam Kansky spent the night in the drunk tank again, Maria picked up, um, pick him up outside Bernie's last night, drunk out of his mind and terrorizing customers. He dozed off pretty quickly once he got to the station, so uh, he should be better by the time you get there. Uh, he might have a huge hangover though, so I'd bring him a big ass coffee and donuts if I were you, have fun. Mr. Reynolds brought a set of keys. Uh, nothing important. I uh, think for shopping with us. Hey D. Well, obviously there's nothing about Tyler. It's been like ten years, right? Police lecture youth center. Okay. Okay, we only got some info on Sam, but that's it. Alright guys, let's make some coffee and wait for Daddy Addy. Ooh. Why he looks so handsome, I don't know. But if he arrests me, I mean, I don't mind. Arrest me, you okay? I'm just Daddy. feeling a little nauseous. I'm party nauseous, aha! My name is Lady Gaga. How is it still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Yeah, it's already nighttime, gee. Hey, you okay? Oh, it's another memory, another memory, guys. Here we go. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? Daddy? It was Daddy Eddie. You okay? Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well... Maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. He said stick to the plan. Do you mind if I go inside that room? There's another memory. Uh, are you sure? There's another memory. We should find it. Wait. Oh, wow. he's gone. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here it is. Here. Um, have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Oh. Sorry. Oh, so they just the vase. What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Another collectible, huh. though. What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? All right. What else? That's so cool remembering all this stuff, but I still... I'm still uh, saying it that this power that they have, it's crazy. Reliving all the memories, it's so bad. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Uh, 
I mean, he acts pretty nice, like a nice guy. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Let's check if uh, there are any other memories here, around here. Because I don't want to miss anything. It's so interesting. Should we get outside and see what's up there? Let's go just in case. Maybe there's some stuff. Oh, I cannot believe it. Okay, uh, let's talk to Daddy Eddie. Nothing here. What is this noise? Where's Tyler? Okay, here he is. Daddy Eddie! Hey, hey sorry that took so long. Hi! Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, I'm blushing do you remember you, this man. guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children are the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Don't Look call me two. bro. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. Eddie, can we you found be something my daddy? in Marianne's room? Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Uh, Marianne worried about something. Uh, what were her last days like? Let's talk about last days. I, for Mar Okay, worried. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Mm, what were her last days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Okay, thank you. He's so fucking Thanks, handsome! If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> I agree. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her, but it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that, and three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? 
Can they just stop fucking fighting? Why? Eddie did, did his best for me. Being kept apart was wrong. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. Eddie did his best for me. Being kept apart was wrong. Well, the court's decision was to keep them separated for seven years. I don't know why would they decide this stuff. And Eddie just went along. But I think it was wrong. Being kept apart was wrong. Like, they are freaking brother and sister. Why would you do that to them? <sighs> Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I... I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't want to send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Eddie, okay. Eddie, I'm coming. Let's go. He is so handsome. Gee, adopt me, baby. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hadrick, welcome. How you been? Bitch, what was that, though? Who? Who? like freaking Friday the 13th. Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No. Please. Please. Mom. Bitch killed Mama. Allison. I killed her. I killed her. Allison. We need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. Yes, you did, I bitch. Her. And when they come, that's what we're gonna tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> That's a game. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. Woo. Wow, guys, this is it for episode number one. It's a journey. And it's a very good journey. Like, oh my gosh, don't not entertainment. Bravo. It's just so freaking good. I love all their games. It's like incredible. Uh, Hedgewick, amazing clothes. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I just came from TikTok. What happened? Uh, hey, Ray. Uh, we just finished episode number one. Uh, I would suggest you to rewatch it because it's so good. And guys, tomorrow at the same time, we're gonna be doing episode number two. I'm gonna do a video right now after we finish. And don't forget to like it and set a reminder. So we're gonna be all here for episode number two tomorrow. The story is so interesting and intriguing. And it's so well done. Also, this Mad Hunter. Hot Mad Hunter? Yes, Mad Hunter. This crazy black dark creepy creature what is happening here some paranormal activity I don't know uh, why the mama can't eat hamburger because she's <laughs> Hedwig what is this uh, oh my god all right and the music I'm playing this game for the very first time with the music it sounds so good it really adds a uh, dramatic moment to a lot of scenes so whoa whoa and whoa alrighty guys thank you all for being here today it's so cool don't forget to come back tomorrow for episode number two have a great rest of your day happy pride and I love y'all so much Mwah. bye everybody I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow Oh my gosh, I just hit my mic, <laughs> bitch. Alrighty, bye. <laughs>